a lot of this conversation is focused around leaders, but for me, this is the opportunity for the up and coming leaders really to add value, step up, actually show they are the future leaders of this business. Yeah. Have you got any advice for them or how they should sort of navigate these sort of times? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a great opportunity. I think there's lots of positive opportunities. So that some of the things I'm talking about are really quite simple, you yeah. know, uh, about putting people first, creating a simple plan, encouraging action, uh, developing the skills to become approachable, um, being, you know, being a, and getting a grip on the financials. So, I mean, one thing, even if something's absolutely disastrously going wrong, um, it, you feel so much better if you know what the cash flow is. And I find so many leadership teams are, um, uh, you know, just haven't got the courage, frankly, to get to grips with it. And I, I mean, there's real legal issues. I mean, the shortest time that any director's gone to prison having joined an organisation for trading to the detriment of creditors is only 10 days. So there's a real sense of urgency legally to understand what the cash position is and if that business is insolvent or not. So mm. cash flow is not a nice to have. And this basic governance, I think, is lacking a lot of organisations, but it creates a lot of time and space and mind space to enable you to get on and do other stuff. So I think this stuff is is pretty straightforward. Um, I think the you know, a one page plan um, is really important. It's important not to tell people what to do um, right. because people stop thinking. Um, and I think it's about developing the accountability. So when you're having reviews, now where are the gaps? How can you develop the accountability of the team? Who can take on more responsibility uh, in a positive way and actually let people do things in their own way? So. When you let people do things in their own way, it actually reduces their stress because it realigns their actions and their beliefs. So if I, you know, if I tell you how to do something, it's going to take, bend you out of shape. But if I say, look, and I know that you're the right person to do it, then you're not going to push back. So when you get that right, it's really quite exciting. And I think, particularly for young leaders, it's very high octane, exciting territory. So I think it's uh, you know, a great place to be. 